اعوذبلشیطانجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل ان اجتماعت الانس والجن والا ان یعت بمثل هذا القرآن لا یعتون بمثله ولو کانا بعضهم لبعض ظہیرا صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح علی صدری و یسر علی عمری وحل العقدم السانی یفقہ قولی ریسپیکٹیڈ ویورز ان صرد السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ The verse which I have recited is from Surah Al-Bani Israel or Al-Isra, chapter 17, verse 88. It says, O mankind, say O Prophet Muhammad says, O mankind, if you all and helping with jinn, the creation of God, which you cannot see from your eyes, if you all go together to produce something like of Quran, something like of Quran, then do it. You can never be able to do it even if you all are backed up with one another. Chapter 17 verse 88. Today the topic is artificial intelligence and Dajjal. You see, you wonder why I read this verse. Emphasize on the last segment. وَلَوْكَانَ even if you all are backed up with one another this is the point which I'm going to elaborate you see in Islam we have two kinds of creation one is the creation of physical which you can see physical sciences and another creation is metaphysical science which is jinn the creation and shaitan was one of the jinn Where it says, Allah says in Surah Kahf, chapter 18, verse 50, and Iblis was one of the jinn. So it's very clear that shaitan, we cannot see him, but shaitan can see us. Who is Dajjal? Dajjal is the one who is a trickster, manipulator, uses and full sources of materialism, and he can manipulate and show you the things which they really don't exist. Prophet Muhammad says, warned Fitna Dajjal from the beginning that his eyes will be blinded. He will be blinded by one eye and only the eye of materialism, he will rule it into the world. So in Islam, it's very clear. Now, where is the danger in artificial intelligence? You see, people have no realization that in Islam and generally, if jinn are able to possess any materialism, they can transform into anything, they can possess to human beings, then how they cannot possess the robots, the technology, the technology we are creating through materialism. We are not giving these all things from out of the Big Bang. Everything we are utilizing, like cellulose, we used to create papers. Similarly, the silicon are created from, you know, grains of sand. Same like glasses are made from the grains, so of sand, all these things, crystallization, we know this all processes, we are making it. Then how come we can't see the reality that shaitan, they are able to do something with artificial intelligence and then the movies we've been watching, you know, about, you know, the robots controlling us, it is likely to be true then. You see, what is artificial intelligence? Some intelligence which is coming artificially. The Jal is the one who is a trickster. He will rise, raise your dead parents when actually they are not there. He will show you, it appears to you that you are in hell, but actually you are in heaven. So the Jal can do these things and he will be the pinnacle, what you call the controller and all those things he will do it from the order of Iblis, like the right man of Iblis. So we believe in physical sciences. We also believe in metaphysical sciences. Imagine that I was, you know, listening about Facebook that that guy, he was telling that we have created new glasses, the glasses of artificial intelligence and all of the world are promoting artificial AI, AI. You see, you have to understand how computer computes binary codes, algorithms, yes or no, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, millions of fractions, and then it computes and gives you the result. How it all happens? 
through the command and the chains of command of algorithms. Now imagine that if these change of commands into this non-inanimate object, the way it functions and any metaphysical science, which you call a shaitan or jinn, possesses that part, you will think that it is an artificial intelligence. So the answer is yes and no. Both are there. Can artificial intelligence is, could be real in the matter? I say yes or I also say no. Why? I will persuade that to you. What is this what you call argumentation about this all? You see, if I say yes, first of all, let's say no. Do robots and all these things can really see dreams? Do they ever will, you know, do they ever uh, consider like in a sense that they will be having conscience or consciousness? I say no, they can never have that because this is the matter of ruh, soul, spirit. And this is come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that function is beyond Big Bang, before the Big Bang. It does not abide by the rules of three-dimensional space, which we are, you and me are living. So it is very clear, no. Robots can never have dreams. You know, there was a movie when I was little, saw artificial intelligence. And in that movie that showed, predicts that, you know, it shows, portrays that at the end, you know, that uh, robot starts dreaming. No, you, robots can never dream. They will be always machines. But yes, yes too, I'm saying. When jinn possesses that object, then it will change into a different game. See, jinns possess things. Jinns can move things, the materialism, because they are also the part of this world, materialism. So anything which they can, you know, coop up with, it can also be going to the machines. Not only humans, because machines are made from the same elements, same elements and components where the other objects are being made. We are just manipulating them. So you can see easily artificial intelligence can become a great curse to humanity in the future. It will break the human values. It can create so many disastrous ideologies. And you will see in the future that this will happen. And once the computation of those binary algorithms goes beyond your control, it comes into the spell of metaphysical sciences, then you will not be able to control them. And this is what the point is. And this is very simple. And this is not my observation. This is the observation of all the ulamas that if jinn is capable of controlling humans, capable of controlling inanimate objects made of materialism, these components of chemistry, then how come they are not able to control the computers and the robots? Can't you see the very difference? But the people who have no knowledge of metaphysical sciences, they will be in a big problem because they will keep thinking that there is something wrong going on with artificial intelligence and they will start looking the problem to fix it, to compute it, troubleshoot it, but they will never be able to troubleshoot it because that troubleshooting will not work. And there is an evidence too in the Quran when the golden calf was made, it was appeared that it was started, you know, in speaking. Now, what let it speak? It was jinn. That inanimate object was started, you know, starting speaking. And this is what I'm telling exactly the machines are capable of. Off. This will happen. You see the robot, it will start making its own computation through the evilness and the possessions. You know, exactly they portray in the movie, uh, there was movie came Megan. And that doll was somehow had start getting what you call artificial intelligence. And that artificial intelligence was attached to emotions. And that emotions comes how? Through jinn, through metaphysical sciences, which people don't know that they are so powerful that they can control artificial intelligence. And then you humanity will all will suffer as the punishment of God Almighty. Allah punishes in three ways, opens the heavens or split asunder the earth or from your own creation with your, which you have start, you know, having contradictory ideologies 
and then you engage wars with one another. And this is the way. It will be one of the tests. And fitna Dajjal, the commotion of Dajjal, this shows very clearly that Dajjal will control everything either by artificial intelligence or either by human beings directly with their emotions or something taking the objects and change into something mesmerizing, tantalizing, and people will think that this seems everything real. So the point which I make this video, it clicked me yesterday when I was watching that how artificial intelligence has been promoting all around the world, that it is something new, something, you know, you see everything you can manipulate from this earth, shaitan can also manipulate. Because you were made Khalifa voice right to this planet to rule over them. And they also take the covenant from God that, oh Allah, I will allure them. And I will, you know, bamboo bamboozle these humans into the things which they never think of. You see, this is the battle between us and them. Don't think that artificial intelligence, you create something and then they start having effect. It is because of you. No, everybody is utilizing the resources from this planet. And this planet have many secrets, the secrets which you see and the secrets which you don't understand. And that is what Allah says in the Quran, that glory to him that he has created everything out of pairs, male and female, and the pairs of your own self and the prayers and the pairs which you know not. In Surah Yasin, chapter 36, verse number 36. So this is, I'm ending with this, it will be a short point that artificial intelligence you, the way you are thinking, it is not that it is going to be exactly the way we are thinking and seeing in the movies if these things are getting possessed by jinn.